channel means we're aiming to get to 100,000 subscribers. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to hit that sub button if you'd like to help us get there. Enjoy the video. Well, you guys, I am pretty excited because it seems like even though a bunch of tea has already been spilled by Callian over the last few days, Lance decided he wanted to get in on the fun and spill some tea as well. We have a bunch of new stuff that's been talked about in Lance's recent live stream, and I'm so excited to talk to you guys about it. And as always, if you're excited to hear more of the tea today, please don't forget to hit that sub button and of course leave a like on the video. Let's go ahead and get started, little beans. <laughs> Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a great day today and thank you so much for tuning in. Happy whatever day of the week it is right now, I actually don't know you guys. I'm honestly completely like, I don't even know what day it is, I don't know when I last slept. My life right now is a bit of a mess, but oh well, whatever right, at least we're enjoying it. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful time, I hope school's not too stressful, I hope you're all looking forward to a nice break coming up for Easter. I'm super excited for the Easter update and all of the things coming and of course we have some tea today to talk about regarding lots of the things so we're gonna go ahead and get straight on in with the tea as soon as i said hi to dolly and don't you worry you guys i'm not gonna be wasting too much time and i hope you're all having a great day there hey everyone i'm dolly and welcome back to another video let us know in the comments down below have you been enjoying that we've been putting chapters in our videos does that help you guys to understand where to watch in the video and has it helped you we hope that you guys will still watch the whole video but hopefully it's helped you in some way let us know in the comments if you'd like us to keep doing it because if you guys want it then we'll keep trying to do them every video absolutely you guys so let's go ahead and get on with the tea so lance has been talking lots in his live streams recently about the new school things coming to the game in general and lots of changes we can expect in the future including some information about a potential set coming with the new school. Let's go ahead and have a look. So first things first, you guys, Sticks recently grabbed this tweet for us that says they want weather systems to have special events tied to them so he doesn't know about the weather in the new school. Probably not on launch. In other words, you guys, people were asking if we're going to have custom weather that changes throughout the new school update, but Lance said they would like weather systems to be tied to updates rather than be consistent. So rather than it randomly starting to rain and things, they want it to be a part of events, for example, the rain in St. Patrick's or the rain inside the Valentine's update for the apartments. They specifically would like rain and things like that to be specific to updates so that we can enjoy different weather changes throughout the updates rather than just having it be something that we have all the time anyway. So in other words, on launch for the new school, there probably won't be custom weather, but it may be something they consider adding in the future for the actual school updates when obviously small events happen for the school. Lance also said and confirmed sets will return every year. So in other words, you guys, every single year, all of the sets that have already been out will return on sale for you to purchase again, along with their accessories. So if you want the Monstery set, it will be out again next Valentine's. So will the Darling Valentina. Shadow Empress and Royal Rebel will be back next October. And so on and so forth. The sets will always return for you guys to be able to enjoy every single update. So don't worry if you're worried about the updates not returning. They will always return for you to enjoy. Sticks also grabbed this for us, you guys. It says an environmental awareness type event would be fun. There's some stuff in the new school related to that, apparently. So in other words, you guys, Lance is saying that it would be nice if we could have some kind of environmental awareness update, something to help people to better protect our planet and our world and understand the importance of taking care of it. Apparently, there is going to be something in the new school which will help with this environmental protection and, of course, encourage people to recycle and various other things to protect our planet. And of course, you guys, it also says Callan recently scripted something interactive today. He says it's not big, but it is cool. Callan said, I don't know what he's talking about, but I'm glad he liked what he saw. I scripted way too much today. So as you guys can see, Callan doesn't actually know exactly what is going on in terms of what Lance is talking about there. But apparently Callan has made something really, really amazing. He said it was something immersive, but not huge. So something similar to how you can open ovens and click buttons and stuff in game. So whatever it is, you guys, it could be something interactive that you can utilize in the game. We don't know what yet, so we'll have to wait and find out. Alan again said, I don't know what I did like today. Screams. Barbie was freaking out over something I made, but it wasn't like that. So in other words, you guys, Callan has done something today that Barbie was very excited about, but also something that Lance is excited about. So whatever it is, I am sure we're all going to be hyped about it when it finally releases, and it sounds like it's going to be something really, really cool. Sticks also tweeted, Probs be more goth stuff around Halloween. Lance, in other words, has said that for Halloween this year, for October, they're hoping to do more goth-related things. So in other words, you guys, you have all been asking for more goth accessories and related items in the game. It looks like they will be coming. 
for the October update in October, obviously, for Halloween. Styx also said they tried to release sets with updates. He can't say if New School is having a set coming with it. Tons of new stuff for us to earn. Some items spoil new systems. So never word, you guys, they can't tell us about some of the items because it will spoil it for everyone if you find out, since they will give away the new systems that they're implementing. But I'm super excited to say that Lance has confirmed there is a chance there could be a new set because they try to do one for every new update. There's no guarantee, you guys, but it sounds like maybe the school uniform set may actually be a thing that could come, based on the fact that recently the devs have been making a lot of effort to include things in the updates that we want, and have tricked us many times by saying things won't come. I get a vibe, you guys, that maybe Maybe, just maybe, there is going to be a school uniform set this year for the new school. And on more topics for Halloween, Styx also tweeted next Halloween maze is going to be insane. So therefore, Lance is confirming there will be another maze, you guys. And I can already tell you I am dreading it. I am already imagining I'm going to be messaging my friend Limey and asking for help because I'm already terrified of thinking, even just thinking about that maze, you guys. I already hear everything just thinking about it. Also, the masculine version of Femme Sets probs won't happen rather than making new ones. It is a possibility there. So basically, for all of you who would like a masculine version of all of the old sets, they're not going to write it off and say it won't happen, but it is unlikely. They would instead rather make new sets for you guys and make sure there's a masculine version of all of them, rather than going back and adding old sets into masculine versions. Because of course, even if you are a boy, you can still wear those old sets anyway. That is completely up to you. Lance also confirmed level rewards are 100% coming. He said in his stream that he can confidently tell us that the new level rewards will be out with the new school. So you guys, this gives an indication that there's probably a good chance they have completed the level rewards, whatever it is that they're doing, and decided on what the updates are. Obviously, that is not a guarantee, but by the sounds of it, it makes it seem as though they may have decided what they're going to do for these new level up rewards. As you can see, Lance also said the new school is his favorite realm by far. They also also, do consider follow account when picking someone who gets a badge because so many people could qualify for one otherwise. In other words, you guys, everybody who applies for a badge, they do consider the size and influence that you have as an influencer, which does make sense because otherwise there would be so many badges and far too many people with them and then they wouldn't be unique. Also, you guys, Lance said multiple of his ideas are in the new school. He'll say which ones were his when it updates and the old school is not getting removed when the new school comes out. Lots of people have been asking that question about the old school, you guys, and we have had multiple confirmations now. The old school is not being removed. You can still play and enjoy it forever, you guys. Don't worry. Also, you guys, Tix tweeted, he doesn't know if the large trade burst get is getting reworked. They never try to replace old items unless they have a reason to do so. And also, he said, the new school update is going to be great. So you guys, we already have confirmation from Shia that the large train burst get is not getting a rework anytime soon. They have no reason to rework it and don't want to. And the new school update is going to be amazing. Dix also said he can't confirm or deny April Fool's updates. They are aware of an outfit glitch when things are loading. And also, you guys, the April Fool's Day update has a little bit of little bit of news here. Let me look at this, you guys. As Six pointed out, is there going to be an April Fool's update? And, and Lance's responses are very similar to this GIF. In other words, you guys, just because Lance is trying to deflect doesn't mean there won't be an update. As he said, he can't confirm or deny it, but I feel like he would just say no if there wasn't going to be one at all. And you guys, a little note here from Callan's earlier tweet that I already talked about, the Homestore Hunt not returning. Someone responded, I'll miss it, but we'll still have a chocolate bunny hunt, right? Or something else. Callan said something different. And as well, you guys, someone replied saying if it's going to be an egg hunt style, we'd really like it to be in public service so that people obviously can benefit in public servers since normally with the clovers it's harder to get them because there's so many people. Callan said with what we're doing it will hopefully help to be inside of a public server instead of a private one. In other words you guys by the sounds of it they really want you to play with other people so whatever they're going to be doing with this update sounds like it's going to require you to work together with others in order to be able to do the update right. So whatever items or whatever plan is coming for the gameplay, it sounds like you'll need to work together to do it. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's tea. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. As always, thank you so much for watching, supporting, and just being wonderful. I hope you found some of what we talked about today useful in some way. And as always, I really appreciate you guys. 
Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to leave a like. We're going to aim for 250 as we always do. And also, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys bright-faced and bushy-tailed for the next video. And I'm really looking forward to everything that is coming. Thanks for watching. As always, Little Beans, I love you guys lots. Bye-bye.